They are perhaps the hardest working part of the human body, our joints. Constantly in motion, helping us to walk, jump, bend, lift, and perform virtually every move we make, joints are connected to the muscles by flexible bands of tissue called tendons. When these tendons become damaged from trauma or repetitive motion, movement in the joint can become very painful. Commonly known as tennis elbow, swimmer's shoulder, and jumper's knee, chronic tendon pain affects more than 10 million people in the U.S. each year. Tendonitis or, or tendon type of pain is one of the most common problems and is really just caused from overuse. The individual that is most susceptible to uh, tendon uh, problems uh, uh, are those that engage in uh, overused type of activities, repetitive sports. Runners very commonly for lower extremity, individuals that play a lot of golf, a lot of uh, tennis, and again when their equipment changes then that often alters the kinematics or the dynamics at the joint and that causes uh, additional strain on the tendon and puts the, the patient at risk. The understanding today is that the tendon actually undergoes a, a cell death and that the term is tendonitis which means inflammation and we learn and know now that it isn't so much inflammation as much as the cells die and that process causes a reaction in the body that becomes painful and that's what uh, causes the uh, symptoms that patients feel. Well I've had chronic tendonitis uh, in, my, in my right elbow and I initially got it from fly fishing and I was in pretty much chronic pain uh, for any everyday type activity, shaking hands was very difficult. Uh, I get severe pain even on shaking people's hand. Um, picking up a suitcase, a briefcase, anything, it was a, it was a real, it was a really a struggle sometimes because it was so painful. If left untreated, scar tissue in the tendon will not only cause worsening of pain, but limit the ability to move the joint. Traditional treatment options such as medication can control the pain, but don't necessarily address the cause of the pain. Other methods such as rest and physical therapy can take up to a year to work, often with limited success. Open surgery to remove the scar tissue has been the most effective option for patients with tendinosis, but it's a procedure that comes with several potential side effects. The uh, side effects of open surgery at the elbow are similar for any open procedure. It's a possibility of infection, possibility of delayed healing, but the, the most uh, consistent problem is uh, just that it causes pain and it takes time to get over an open surgical procedure. But a new treatment option is now available that is designed to remove the source of tendon pain faster and safer than traditional open surgery. Created by Tenex Health and developed in collaboration with the Mayo Clinic, the innovative FAST procedure, Focused Aspiration of Scar Tissue, is a minimally invasive treatment that removes scar tissue from the elbow, knee, foot, and shoulder. Utilizing a toothpick-sized instrument along with conventional ultrasonic imaging, the FAST procedure quickly and safely breaks up and removes diseased tissue without damaging surrounding tissue. The way the FAST procedure um, uh, works in terms of uh, addressing the, the problem of tendinopathy or tendinitis is number one, we use an ultrasound to identify the diseased area so we can identify its location very specifically. That allows us then to put the probe exactly in the right spot and so we use ultrasound guided direction that uh, permits the, uh, the surgeon or the physician to address the pathology that is seen. The handpiece is very light and very easy to maneuver. The probe is only about the size of a large needle. So it's very easy to um, uh, maneuver and fortunately this also means that it, it's very well tolerated, causes very little patient to discomfort. We use ultrasound imaging to see the damaged tissue and that allows the doctor to go in and remove it without cutting open the skin. And then with that, we've developed our technology that uses a energy that delivers a frequency to break down just the damaged tissue or bone spurs, for example. And it leaves the healthy tissue that has a different density intact. So think of this as a specific frequency that only hones in to the density of diseased tissue or bone. And that specific frequency will not disturb healthy tendon tissue.
Performed in a non-surgical setting under local anesthetic, the FAST procedure requires no stitches or sutures with a total procedure time of just 20 minutes or less. The results are the same as you'd expect from the long-term results of surgery, but the uh, recovery time is from nothing more than a needle procedure in the office. And so you're getting almost like a needle procedure that you do for an injection, but the outcome and the benefit is uh, three months down the line what you'd get with an open procedure. The procedure was incredibly simple. I mean, you lay down, they clean your elbow, they inject it, uh, pretty much pain-free injection, um, and uh, within, I don't know, 10, 12 minutes, you're done. Uh, I didn't feel anything during the, during the operation at all. Um, and now it's, you know, almost an hour after, and there's not even, there's, there's not even the original pain that I had when I walked in here. It's completely gone. As a pioneer in minimally invasive therapies for removal of diseased soft tissue, Tenex Health has made it their mission to help people safely and quickly relieve pain, restore function, and return to doing the activities they enjoy. I've spent a career of being interested in elbow problems, and the, there were a couple of features that were of particular interest to me about this new technology that was presented to me a couple of years ago. First of all, tennis elbow is a real common problem. All tendonitis is a real common problems and they bother people. And in many instances, we don't have a good solution. So if we had the ability to address a tendon problem, not just to the elbow, but anywhere, and if we could do it safely, so that there was very little likelihood that the patient could be made worse. And for me, very importantly, if we could intervene earlier in the course of the disease, so we don't tell a patient, you gotta wait a year before I'm willing to operate. If they're having a lot of trouble with their day-to-day -day activity, with their work or their recreation, if you've got an effective technique that is safe, you would be willing to intervene earlier. And I think that's what I would think of as almost a game breaker. And that's what this technology does.